Developments in a story we have been following all day. Neighbors say a father is too torn up to return to his home, the house where his 10 year old son was shot and killed Sunday. But as police try to determine what happened, neighbors are reflecting on Noah Sarver's life. RTV 6's Liz Adiola joins us live with how the young boy is being remembered tonight. Liz. While Metro Police here at the City County Building run a trace on the gun that killed Noah Sarver, his neighbors and local residents and friends are remembering the 10 year old who they say his life was cut too short. Just take a look at the candles and stuffed animals and also some of the signs that adorned the front yard of his father's home tonight. Those mourners gathered for a vigil near Vermont and Gale Street. Neighbors say Noah loved playing basketball, so they set one of those there, too. The 10-year-old died inside his father's home Sunday evening after he was shot. Police say his 9-year-old cousin was also in the area when the shooting happened. Family and friends and neighbors say Noah's life went by way too fast. We decided to make little posters and do something nice for the family to show that we care. I feel really bad for the family, and I'm really... It, I, I just, there's no words that can say besides sorry and, you know, I, it's, he's an angel now watching over everybody. And Metro Police say they are still working to try and find out where that gun came from. All they can say at this point is that they believe the shooting was accidental and that this is an ongoing investigation. Reporting live downtown, Liz Adiola, RTV6. Tragic story, Liz. Thank you.